these first three were our good pieces, good for working sample. And the machine took them all into a good outlet. Let me see it. So these ones test yeah. positive for black heart. All three of these went to the black heart drop. Okay. So we're gonna cut them open. Leave them. Let's leave them here on this side so we can see it. We will. Black heart. Black heart. Okay. Black heart, 100%. Yeah. Black heart, 90%. Mm -hmm. So how did you come about to identify black heart and non-black heart? So we just, we discovered that um, the majority of the light, we were using the in-scan to determine the black heart, which shines light through the fruit. Uh, this we're trying to pick up the ones that are not light yet these 50% ones uh, The 100% ones that are already dry we can get with density just using weight over volume Okay, but the ones that are 50% are not haven't lost their moisture yet. So this we need to use our in scan So the light is shined through the fruit uh, Most of the light travels through the rind around the rind uh, and doesn't actually interact much with the seeds so we needed to have a very, very large sample in order to do this black heart test. So we used a 200 piece sample just to do this one test. Um, so this did prove that it is possible, um, but because of the, the nature of how the light passes through the fruit, it just needs a large amount of data. So if we have enough data, uh, we, we're confident that this will work. So how many pieces did you uh, uh, use for this test? We used 200 pieces for this one test, um, and we tested up back on the same lot. So the rind variations have most effect on the results, so by using a very large sample, we can model out the variations in the rind so that it can actually separate the black heart. Um, as we go into multiple lots, we'll need to add just as much data from multiple lots in order to uh, model out the, the lot differences. That's, uh, so it's gonna take a large amount of data to create the model, but uh, it's clearly, clearly does work if we have enough data to model out all the, the possible rind variations, because there's quite a lot of variation in the rind. It's not just color, it's thickness, it's the, there's some decay in the rind because of the black heart. Some of it's immature. A lot of variations in the rind, just I mean, not uh, not just thickness, but color variations as well. And all that has to be taken into account by the model. Um, and because of the density of the seeds, uh, most of the light passes through the rind, and that it, uh, is what causes most of the variation in the results. But the light will pass through some of the black heart as it's going along the rind, and with enough data all these rind variations can be modeled out and we're left with black heart results. Very good. All right. Any final comments or thank you.